Police have shoved protesters outside a Beijing courthouse as one of China's most high-profile human rights lawyers stood trial. Pu Chang has spent nearly 19 months in detention and faces up to 18 years in prison if convicted of charges of inciting ethnic hatred and picking quarrels and provoking trouble. Diplomats from countries including the United States, Germany and France congregated near the courthouse seeking to observe the trial. They were refused admittance by the police. Despite being pushed back, about 40 supporters gathered outside the courthouse and chanted slogans to show their solidarity with the lawyer on trial. One man who was pushed to the floor spoke out. If we as ordinary people in China don't speak out, we will be repressed. Just like this, we will be pushed down and repressed. We need freedom of speech, we need democracy, we need peace. Dan Beers, deputy political counselor of the US Embassy in Beijing, called for the lawyer's release and criticised the vague charges that have been handed down against him. Lawyers and civil society leaders, such as Mr. Pu, should not be subject to continuing repression, but should be allowed to contribute to the building of a prosperous and stable China. We urge Chinese authorities to release Mr. Pu. Police tried to prevent Beers from reading out a statement near the courthouse, pushing him and foreign reporters out of the way. The main accusations against Pu Jingchang revolve around several microblog posts on his online accounts. The posts criticised China's ethnic policy in the troubled western region of Xinjiang. China has charged many rights activists with picking quarrels and provoking trouble, saying it is a country with rule of law and dismissing any international criticism on its human rights record.